What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're going to talk about guns, guns, and more guns today. Specifically one that I've gotten a lot of questions about in relation to another, and that is the Gen 5 Glock 19 and the new P10C Optics Ready or the newest version of the P10C. So if you guys don't know, the P10C has gone through a couple of different changes. Uh, it's not a true Ambi Mag release anymore. A couple of things have been changed. It's reversible now, kind of like Gen 4 Glock, Gen 5 Glock. So some different things going on there with it. And I've also been told just from using some of the older P10Cs and some of the newer ones that it's a little bit uh, easier to manipulate. So things aren't quite as stiff up front in that gun. So within that newest generation of the P10Cs, like I have right here, this is the optics ready version. But for all intents and purposes, the only difference between the new generation is the optics ready or the not optics ready as compared to this one. And the Gen 5 Glock 19, which you guys, if you haven't seen my video on these, I will link it uh, up here for you and down below. But these are two that seem to go head to head quite often. Now, a couple things we're gonna go over right off the bat. The P10C is a larger gun than the 19, but just by a little bit. It's kind of stuck in between like a 17 and a 19. It's almost kind of right there with a G45, the new model 45, which I'm going to do a comparison on between the two because they are very similar in size, weight, and uh, versatility with the optics plates and everything. So the reason we're using the 19 today is because I don't have an MOS version, nor do I plan on getting the 19 MOS, because I like the 45 best when it comes to those platforms in the MOS. So what we are going to be looking at between these two, which are important to me, is the overall build, how easy are they to use for newer uh, people when it comes into the gun world, because they are very similar. Striker-fired platforms, no manual safety on them. Um, internally, they work a little bit differently. The CZ out of the box does have a better trigger. We'll get that out of the way right now. And there are a pretty good amount of aftermarket things coming. The second thing I really wanna look at is how do they shoot? How do they feel in the hand uh, with that recoil impulse? Because it is quite a bit different. The angles of them do come into play with that, the bore axis and all that stuff too. And we'll kind of compare that. And then in the end, kind of that third thing is aftermarket stuff because that is a big thing to a lot of people they like to do aftermarket stuff although i don't think that should be the main reason you ever go and pick up a gun is to to buy it just so you can see how much aftermarket stuff you can do to it although there are guys that do that i'm talking self-defense guns right now out of the box i don't want to do anything crazy to these ones because these are two of my self-defense setups and i don't want a ton of aftermarket stuff on them but there is an emerging market for the cz's and there is a massive market for the 19. And then I'll give you guys my overall opinion at the end of the video on if I could only have one, or if I was really on the fence about the 19 and the CZ, the P10C, which one would I go with? Um, because I'm a fan of both, I really am, and it's really a tough decision between the two, and there's a couple different factors that it will come down to in the end. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at these up close real quick, give you guys the specs, we'll take a look at some range footage between the two of these, and then I'm gonna give you guys my final opinion on uh, what I think someone who maybe is not an overly uh, biased fan of one or the other, what you may want to go in and do or take into the store with you knowledge-wise to make your decision on the price between a Glock 19 and a CZ P10C or the optics rate if that's what you're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and get into these two right now. All right, everybody, let's get into comparing these two. I know it's not 100% apples to apples because the P10 over here is the optics ready, but besides that, it's the same thing as the newest generation of the P10C. Let's go ahead and just go over basic specs. We'll start with the Glock 19 here in the Gen 5. So we have a 7.28 overall length um, here in inches. We've got a width, which would be this way of 1.34. Total height uh, of the gun, you know, from pistol grip all the way up to top of slide is gonna be 5.4 inches, not a barrel length of 4.2. Obviously it's nine millimeter, 15 round capacity. Um, trigger pull is, you know, four and a half to six pounds, depending on how you pull it and which one you get. And then uh, we do have a 23.99. So basically 24 ounces unloaded and 31.04 ounces loaded. So that is the basic overall spec of a factory gen five Glock 19, just so you guys are aware. Now let's talk about that CZ and the factory specs on it. So the CZP 10 c the Ranger standard one without the optics ready is a 15 plus one as well. 
both of them striker fired and polymer pistol. Barrel length is the same, 4.2. Height is 5.2. Width is 1.26, which is negligibly just a little bit bigger. She weighs 26 ounces and is 7.3 inches long. So a little bit more portly over here on the CZ. Um, and that kind of has to do with probably some of the bigger internals in here. And we'll just take a very quick look at the internals. We're not going to get in depth. If you want in depth on either of these, I have reviews of them, which are linked down in the comments below. And you can uh, check those instant reviews out if you are interested. So overall, uh, $4.99 is the MSRP on the CZ. We all know the MSRP uh, is not usually what you can end up getting them for. And then the uh, Glock 19, I want to say the uh, MSRP on that. Let me pull it up real quick so I'm not uh, misquoting something here. So the MSRP on that Glock from checking out a couple different internet, the MSRP is right around 560. So advantage definitely goes to the CZ on that. So let's talk about a couple of different things we got when it comes to the ergonomics of these guns. We'll take a look at the 19 here. We know we have that Glock hump. A lot of people do not like that. It's a more aggressive, I believe, 22 degree angle on that pistol grip, if my uh, memory serves correct. So the standard uh, 19, not the MOS version or not, anything like that, comes with no front serrations, rear serrations, whichever sights you want. And they did go with the standard pick size rail up here in the Gen 5s. So you don't need that Glock insert if you only have Gen 5s. Pretty standard, you do get the removable back straps, so you can change a little bit more beaver tail, a little bit thicker. It is a swappable magazine release for lefty and righty, and then a true ambidextrous uh, slide release, slide stop there. I do have a magwell on this one, because it's a little bit shorter, the 19, than the CZ is, so I like having magwells on these guns. This one's the SLR, got a review on that, I will link up there for you and put in the description as well ton of aftermarket stuff for these we know that but uh, that is the 19 so when it comes to the czp 10c a couple things that are a little bit different you do have interchangeable uh, straps right here but they don't go all the way up and add beaver tail it's just thickness of the grip you do have a little bit more indexing on the frame right here on both sides so if you're left-handed right handed doesn't matter you're going to have some a little bit more traction there you do get front serration Slides milled a little bit differently. So if you're a press checker competition style guy, you've got a little bit more to work with. These are on the standard uh, P10C, not just the optics ready. So I didn't wanna take the optic off, but we're using this. So ergonomically, a little bit straighter of a grip. You don't have that massive hump and you can get a little bit higher. You can get quite a bit higher up in here as compared to that uh, back strap there on the Glock. Just kind of show you side by side here. There is a lot more depth in that CZ right there. You can see how much more, just kind of get the best angle I can right there. You can kind of see how much more you can get into and then how a uh, little bit more aggressive the Glock grip angle is right there. You also have a little bit more of a generous trigger guard here, um, which is definitely nice, especially if you've got those bigger hands. You can see I've got a lot more area in here than I do in that Glock one, which is pretty dang tight for me. Uh, a little bit thinner on that trigger guard as well. Much more nicely rounded off inside right there. They've done a great job making it really easy just to get a handle on this thing and go to work with it. You do have the truly ambidextrous slide stop, slide release, swappable magazine, magazine release there. And uh, this newest version of the CZ P10C is it's much, much easier. The original series, uh, the P10s were very stiff on the controls. It's, uh, I promise you, much easier on the newest versions. Uh, not quite as easy as the Glock. The Glock is easier to manipulate the slide controls there with your fingers and the CZ for sure. Now let's talk about uh, that kind of height over bore axis right there. So if you put these side by side, you can see the CZ just looks a little bit shorter. You know, that slide does as compared to the Glock. Let's go kind of back to back here. And you can see there is a slight difference. It's very tough to show on camera in the height. Now what that is going to change is kind of that height over bore. The lower that, that axis is, the more control you have on that recoil impulse. So shooting the CZ, I find to be quite a bit better. Um, factory trigger, I know I've got my Apex one in here. Hands down guys, the uh, factory trigger that comes 
in the CZs. In my opinion, it's shorter on the take up. The factory shoe feels better. The brake is definitely lighter and better. Reset and secondary shot is definitely far better than the Glock for sure. Minus aftermarket stuff. Obviously, there's a lot more aftermarket parts for the Glock out there than there is the CZ stuff right now. But I'm really digging the CZ. I think ergonomically, it is an absolutely great pistol. Um, hasn't withstood the test of time like the Glocks have yet on this P10 series. Um, but I really think that it is a player in the game. So let's go ahead and look internal and I'll show you some of the differences between the two here because they are vast. The Glock uses a completely different firing system, which is very, very minimized and very easy to clean and maintain on your own. So let's take a look at the slide differences here. Um, you can see on the Glock, you've got your standard striker safety right up there and uh, your standard striker lug right there. And then look at the difference between the lugs and the barrels between the Glock over here on the right and that CZ. I mean, the CZ is, it's literally twice the size of the barrel lugs of the Glock. It's pretty crazy. Uh, beefy as all get out, guys. So striker safeties in the Glock, we all know it's just that plunger that gets pressed that allows the striker to go forward. Now, CZ is quite a bit of a different design. You can see right there, um, it's just a little lever that basically gets kicked over by a part of the trigger bar and allows that striker to go forward. But very, very clean, very nice, works quite well. Much longer of an extractor right there, so you can see the difference between the sides in those. Um, I have not heard anybody have issues with this extractor just yet. Um, I know there are some no-fail options for other guns that have these larger, longer extractors like that. There are aftermarket ones for the Glocks as well, billet ones, things like that. But uh, you can definitely see that the CZ is a little bit longer as well. The CZ is beefier up in the nose when it comes to where the recoil spring fits in. On the Gen 5s, they beefed that portion up as well. So very similar in how all striker fired systems work, guys. A little bit beefier on the CZ, which is a little bit, a little bit more heavy when it comes down to it. Now, when we talk about the frames and the firing control here, we all know the Glock and its famous one piece design here, which has made this thing really easy, but it also kind of gives you that trigger pull where your cruciform and sear and everything is all one piece. So I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with this and how this functions. You guys have your uh, trigger block back there and basically your drop safe is the ledge right in there that that cruciform sits on as you pull the trigger. Okay, they both have the same style trigger safeties, Glock and the CZ, you pull that trigger and uh, it's allowed to drop off that safety ledge right there. That's what allows the release of the striker. Now the CZ, as you can see in there is quite a bit different. So in the CZ, this, uh, this portion right there, that's actually your sear. And as you pull the trigger, what disconnects your striker safety is that little triangular tab. And then as it comes back, you'll see that sear drop right there towards the end of that trigger pull. Let me zoom that in for you right there. You see it kind of go down. Once that drops down off of that little ledge that's inside here, allows that striker to go forward and then your reset takes place with the help of this little button right there, which connects into a portion of the slide right along here. So a little bit of a difference in the platforms there. Um, definitely CZ, the trigger is a little bit better. Glock is just more simple to work on. Definitely more stuff going on uh, in the CZ. Um, slides are very, very similar, a little beefier on the lugs. So we're gonna get back up into the desk, guys, finish this up on the CZ P10C and the Glock 19, the Gen 5, and the second version of the CZ P10C. All right, now that you guys kind of know some of those basic specs, let's just kind of roll in some range footage and I'll kind of explain how, uh, how these feel to me. So being a bigger guy with bigger hands, 
Um, on the 19 platform, I like to have mag wheels. I like to have mag wheels on most of my guns because anything you can do to aid in the process of reloading, getting that magazine in there faster and more accurately is a good thing, especially in a self-defense pistol because it may save your life. You know, that quarter second that it takes you, whatever, it may save your life. So when it comes to the 19, ergonomically Glocks are not the best guns. Let's just get that out of the way. They don't have the best triggers. They're not, the angle is more steep on the hand. They've got the Glock hump right here. So those are kind of some negatives. You can work through that with training and just practice and everything. But let's go reliability, durability. <laughs> Pretty dang unmatched, guys. Um, extremely reliable, extremely durable. Most law enforcement uh, agencies use Glock. Millions of people carry Glock and trust their life to it. So that, that portion of it is there. Now, aftermarket parts-wise, I don't think besides an AR, anything really compares to the aftermarket product availability for the Glock platforms across all calibers. Um, even the bigger ones, the 45s, there's a pretty decent amount of stuff for, so they, they really do go crazy. And then the whole polymer 80 is basically a Glock kind of thing. You know, there's just a ton of stuff out there. Now, when it comes to the trigger, Glock is severely lacking, but it's kind of a two-edged sword. Glock made this gun with the most minimal moving parts possible. And because of that, you kind of have more drag in different places going on all at the same time. It's all one piece with the cruciform back there, whereas the CZ has a true kind of sear block that gets knocked down and the striker's allowed to go forward. So you do experience a, a lot more trigger squish, a lot more pre-travel, not the best break, but it's not terrible. The Gen 5 did clean it up quite a bit. Gen 4 and previous models, yeah, it's a Glock trigger. I mean, that's, that's about all you can say. So ergonomically, trigger-wise, definitely CZ has a one-up on this. Uh, reliability, versatility of aftermarket parts and all that thing. I think reliability-wise, the CZ is maybe a little bit behind Glock just because they haven't been run as hard as long in that P10 series. So that's yet to be seen. So I can't make a determination on that aspect of it. Now the actual firing and the recoil impulse control, I find a little bit better on that CZ, um, just because the ergonomics of it and how that grip kind of lines up with my hand and kind of that hide over bore axis. So not everybody may feel that way. That's how I feel about the 19 and the CZ. Now when it comes to the CZ platform, like I said, this one's the optics ready, but it's just the newest generation with a couple of changes in here. So not a true ambidextrous uh, mag release in there anymore. You do maintain ambidextrous slide stop slide release, but they did change a couple things to make it a little bit uh, easier to work with. So on the CZ, you get a couple different things up front. You do get some of those back straps, just like the Gen 4, Gen 5 Glocks have. A uh, little bit bigger of a gun like we saw up close, a little bit longer, both in grip and uh, barrel length there, or slide length there. A little bit lower on that bore axis, a little bit higher up in the tank right there. You can really get that hand up in there. Really does a great job helping you control that recoil impulse under rapid fire. So competition guys, guys that are into press checks, you've got a really nicely machined down slide and everything there. Serrations come all the way up over the top. Very, very good. The, uh, the trigger on these, I mean, come on guys, the trigger on these is just out of the box. It's just better than the Glock. There's no two ways about it. Feels better, feels lighter, feels less gritty um, right from the get-go. Um, so definitely good. You've got some good uh, index stippling up here. I find the stippling on the CZ quite a bit better than the Glock, just to be honest with you, especially in the front and in the rear. Um, I hated the finger grooves on Glock, but I really do enjoy how CZ did their stippling on here. I like it. Ergonomically, control-wise, grip-wise, the CZ, in my opinion, is far superior than the Glock. Reliability-wise, like I talked about with the Glock, yet to be seen. The CZ P10Cs have not um, stood the test of time that the Glocks have at this point. So I just really can't answer that right now. Now let's talk about firing and recoil impulse. So between the two, I give it to the CZ. I find this far easier to just work with. I mean, it's more native to my hand. It just feels better when I'm shooting, especially going for rapid firing like that. I really do find an easier time lining up with this than I do uh, the Glock 19 or most of the Glock platforms in general. So that is a definite plus for the CZ. Now, aftermarket parts wise, the CZ stuff is emerging and it's emerging rapidly. There's a lot of triggers that are coming out. Um, there's different companies working with these now doing slide work, barrels, things like that. Definitely cool because I'm really digging the CZ stuff. 
and uh, I like the platform. I really do. Um, if I could carry this at work, I'm telling you right now, I would. Um, unfortunately, there are not a lot of locking holsters. I know this was technically made to fit Glock 19 holsters or Glock holsters. It fits some, doesn't fit others, but it will not fit in any of my Safari Land holsters. Um, it just doesn't work. So unfortunately, not something that's going to be approved for a lot of law enforcement people at this time. Now it comes down to the point of if you are on the market, okay, and you are really looking between a Glock 19 and a CZ P10C, which one would I personally choose? Now, granted, this is my opinion, guys, because you may be looking for something else. You may be looking for something different. Um, and a lot of things can come into play, whether you're planning to carry this inside the waistband, outside the waistband. A lot more holsters out there for the 19 than the CZ P10C. A lot more light combination holsters for the Glock than the CZ. So the CZ is still an emerging market. Um, and I really think uh, to kind of go milk toast fence sitter, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. I really don't. Um, there are things that I really do like about the Glock as far as what, uh, what's available for it and carrying and everything like that. But if I had to choose, if I could only get one of these, even though I love the gray color, guys, I would go with the CZ. That's my personal opinion. Um, I do like my Glocks. I like my CZs. I like my 1911s. But you look at the price of them, um, very, very similar to You can get the CZ generally a little bit cheaper than the Glocks, especially the MOS version. Um, in my opinion, you really can't go wrong with either, but I give the slight advantage to CZ because I'm not concerned about the aftermarket part when I'm looking for self-defense pistol. What I am concerned about is how can I use this, how easy, how native it is in my hand, and do I like the overall feeling of it, and do I trust that it is going to be reliable? And I do. And I want to tell you, it is just by the slightest that I pick that CZ. And the only reason that I pick it, and this is probably going to be a personal thing to me, is because having bigger hands, being a bigger guy, even though it is slightly larger than the Glock 19, it fits me perfectly. It fits my hand perfectly. I find it more comfortable, and I find it just right where my hands want to be. So for me, with the ergonomics of it, that's just the way I go. And I know a ton of you guys are going to disagree with me. And like I said, you really can't go wrong with either one because they're both... Just awesome pistols, but there's just a, a slight few things that I really do think that CZ kind of has on Glock, and I just, I really want to see Glock and CZ get in a war. I really do want to see those two companies really battle it out and just innovate and innovate and bring out more stuff and more stuff, um, because that is what is really going to please you and me, the purchaser and the buyer of these things. So I really hope you guys liked the video. I know you guys are going to disagree with me. Leave those comments down below. Let me know. If you could only have one, guys, if it was just a regular Gen 5 19 or just even the regular or the optics ready of that CZ P10C, that newest version, uh, which one would you choose and why? I know a ton of you guys are gonna be like, CZ for life, and then the people are gonna be like, ah, Glocks, and, and it's and that, you know it's everything. Everybody has a different uh, opinion and stuff. But I really am curious to know what you guys think. So if you guys like what's going on, hit that subscribe button for me. If you like learning and seeing these stuff and getting my opinion, because it's just an opinion on most things, Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, guys. Get out there and have some fun. Rent guns before you buy them, borrow guns before you buy them to see if it's something you would like. Take my opinion with a grain of salt because it's an opinion. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.